Kanoo, Colorado. Welcome to today's episode of Taco Tuesday. What's for lunch? Today in studio, I have Stephanie from K Madre Food Truck. And Stephanie is really excited to be here. Super yeah. excited. Thanks for having she me. She wants to co host a show every day oh. with me. Yes, yeah. yes. Woo! Give me a little history of you and K Madre. Um, so I started in the restaurant industry um, when I was 18, so I've been in about it 12 years. My husband's been in the kitchen for about five or six years. Um, we met in a restaurant, so they kind of came together, him and his friend, and put together Kata's Madre Food Truck. Okay. And what's your husband's name? Javier. And where is he right now? He is right over there. Oh, if only he was in studio to come on the show <laughs> I, with you. I know. Maybe he'll make a guest appearance at the end. Yeah, maybe. All right. Just So what do you guys do? What's the concept? Uh, we do Mexico City style street food. Okay. So, so I just am recently learning about this that like it's not what we're used to here in America. Like, right. It's different there. Mm -hmm. uh, so how would you describe what's Mexico City street food? Um... That's a great question. <laughs> what makes <laughs> it different than like? I mean, compared to the Mexican food here, yeah. there's no chili. It's not smothered. It's, you know, salsa, onion, cilantro. Okay. So, basics. Um, great flavor. We try. We make the homemade potato chips. Like every restaurant, every stand in Mexico City, you walk by, they have just a bag, and then you tell them, okay, I want the hot sauce and the lime in there, and they shake it up, and you're on your way to go. Ooh, are we gonna do that? Well. Kind of. <laughs> okay. Without the bag. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to, so you'll do that and I'll get to try uh -huh. it. Uh, so when did you start? February of 2020. Okay. Mm -hmm. And where can people find you? Uh, we go to a lot of breweries. So we frequent Ratio, Cerebro, Zuni, um, Little Machine. So oh, good ones. Know, yeah. Okay. And uh, they can find your schedule on Instagram, Correct. right? Along and what's the, the, what's the Instagram <laughs> handle? Uh, Kata's Madre Food Truck. So I've been saying it wrong. Say it again. Que desmadre. Que desmadre, which uh -huh. means? What a mess. Uh, see, I didn't even know that. Yeah. It's All right. messy food. All right. Yeah, so. Let's start talking about the food then. Yeah. What the heck is this? Uh, that's our vegetarian <coughs> option. So that's our potato tacos. Um, it's going to be like a mashed potato filling inside of a flour tortilla. We fry it a little bit, so it's a little bit crispy. On top, we put lettuce, sour cream, queso fresco, and we serve it with our homemade red salsa. Is it spicy? Um, it can be, depending on the peppers. <laughs> depending on the time of the year. Yeah, yeah. That's funny, I was asking a guy the other day who makes uh, salsa, I'm like, because mm -hmm. it's mild, but it has, you know, with jalapenos in it, different times of the year. Yeah. Like, how do you Depends know? Depends how ripe they are, yeah. Always varies. This is very intriguing. Um, very interested in this. So that's not on our regular menu when we first opened up. We had that as a staple. Um, now we kind of do it as a special. So that's our shrimp papas. Um, it's shrimp on a stick wrapped with crispy potato. We put a guajillo sauce, creamy jalapeno, cotija cheese, and serve it like that. Yeah, I think I'll have to try that. <laughs> and uh, you actually work on the truck, right? I so do, if they come yeah. to the truck, they'll come see you. Yep. Slinging hash, every making time. tacos, yep. making. <laughs> right. I think I've missed one shift that he worked for me, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's our tinga tacos. That's our most popular. That's a marinated chicken with lettuce, sour cream, queso fresco. We also melt a Oaxaca cheese on the tortilla and serve it with our red salsa. Do you do other tacos besides this? We do. We yeah. have um, beef, chorizo, campechano, pastor, shrimp. I love campechano. Yeah. Really good. You don't see that everywhere, the campechano. No. And this I've never seen before. Um, that's our pambaso. So that's basically a campechano mixture. We do a beef and chorizo with potato patty, um, and then we top it with lettuce, sour cream, queso fresco, and a bean puree. Well, this is gonna be a tough decision today. <laughs> so far, I want everything. This is our esposa gringa. That is past- Man, Translate for the, for the gringas. Um, white wife. So, Don't know where you came up with that name. <laughs> um, that's going to have pastor onion cilantro inside with the Oaxaca cheese, and then we toast the tortilla with a guajillo sauce. Which is so, why it's kind of orange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We Neat. serve it with both of our salsas. And what's that one? That's a creamy jalapeno. Oh, I haven't seen that anywhere before. Yeah. You're making it tough on me today. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Slippery sucker. Uh, those are our homemade DFA chips. So DFA is Mexico City, what everyone from Mexico City calls it. So they do. Mm -hmm. 
Say it again. De hace, like de hace. Oh. Mm -hmm. What does it, does it mean, anything? Can I hear? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Distrito Federal. District of Federal. Oh, yeah. okay. That makes sense. Uh, we serve it with a uh, hot sauce and lime. Okay, now you're going to squeeze something for me or do? Oh, yeah. You ready? I'm ready. So usually what we do is we squeeze the lime and then drizzle the hot sauce on top. How hot is that hot sauce? Um, I can handle it, you think? You can handle it. It's not it. habanero? No. Okay. I'm going to find one of those right now while they're fresh and hot. I know people don't think I can handle heat, but... <laughs> Oh, I'd eat the heck out of that. Yeah. So with being at a lot of breweries, it goes good with beer, hot sauce, chips, and the lime. Mmm. All right. Um, so there's also, you guys are on Truckster, right? We are on Truckster, yep. So can they order on that? They can. We do our online ordering through them as well. Um, they can also book through them. And then, uh, so when you're not at breweries, people can book you for... Catering, private parties, weddings, bar yep. mitzvahs? Lunches, yeah. And how do they reach out to you? Um, they can reach out to us through our email, Instagram, my but phone number. You might as well give them your email then, your phone number if you... My phone number is 716-796-7360. And your of email? Seven, lots of sixes. Uh, Whatadesmadre at gmail.com. Great. Yep. Should we make uh, somebody make an appearance? He doesn't have to speak. Yeah. Come say hi. Come say hi. Meet the mastermind. <laughs> and then the best thing would be if, if you invited the audience to come eat your food yeah. in Spanish. Wow. Uh, pues todos los que quieran probar una comida rica de la Ciudad de México, pues pueden venir. Les va a gustar todo. No, no se van a arrepentir. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> is, I think he's saying this is the real deal, authentic Mexican food. Yep. From Mexico City. Sounds about right. All right. I'm going here. Eventually I'll go over all of them. What? I'm having one. God, I mean, how often do you get creamy jalapeno sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you made it. I did. You didn't fall down. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't even stumble. You killed it. Thank you. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Uh, we'll be back for what's for lunch tomorrow. Let's eat. I did the haircut. You're not getting any, Josh. What? <laughs>